In this demonstration, we want to take a look at the terrain model editing tools available to us in Select Series 3. And so under our task, Terrain Model, if we select the icon to edit the terrain model, and then we will have these tools and we can pick which tool we want to utilize. I'm going to use the one for Delete Vertex. And it's going to ask us to move around our terrain after we've selected our terrain and pick the vertex that we want to delete. Once we find the one we want to delete, we accept that and we'll see that we can retriangulate. Of course, I can always use the undo command if that is not what I wanted to do. The next icon allows us to delete an, a single edge triangle. And so if I select this and I pick my terrain model, I can grab that edge triangle and see that deleted easily. The next one allows us to swap a line for triangulation. And so any line that I pick, I can swap those lines back and forth. And again, we do support the undo command. We also can insert a vertex. And I'm going to toggle on to use the face elevation of the triangle. And again, as I move around here, you'll see how it has the ability to insert a vertex within that triangle. And then once the train model is updated, you'll see that updated triangle take place as well. And so it does insert the point. There is a little bit of a graphics delay on this particular uh, command at this time of this recording, but assure you that when that is placed in there, it has actually becoming part of the triangulation. And you'll see those come in in our next demonstration that we just added those two. So the next one I want to take a look at is the ability to move a vertex. And again, we just select the vertex, and as we move it, you'll see that update. And then the ones we just placed earlier then updated triangles as well. The next one is to delete uh, edge triangles by line. I like this one a lot. Uh, as we're cleaning up areas where there's no data, we simply just drag into our triangles along the edge, and you'll see those uh, delete accordingly. And so we can clean those up where we know we have no data. Here's another area here. So very useful. And then the last one allows us to delete a feature. If we had features in this train that we had added in, let's say we added in a edge of pavement brake line or something, I don't have any in this particular example, but we would simply select that, select a feature, and it would remove that uh, particular entity, whether it's a brake line, a void, or a boundary uh, from the train model, and retriangulate accordingly. So that's an introduction to the editing of the train models in Select Series 3.